Hi guys, welcome back. We are doing a fall undecorate and clean with me. In today's video, you're gonna get some decluttering, some undecorating, cleaning, room transformation, all the cleaning, all the things, motivation. So I hope you enjoy today's video. If you are new here, my name is Rosie Lynn. I had took some time off because I had to have a chest surgery, but now I'm back, finally cleared, and I am ready to go. So I hope today's video gives you that motivation to get up and get it done. All the decorations in these clear containers I don't really worry about much about wrapping things because it just sits in the hallway closet however if we were moving I would definitely be packing these up so they don't break or anything like that but since they're just gonna be in there they're fine I'm just gonna put them in clear containers I find this helps a lot better because then you can see what's in the container whereas if you get the ones that you can't see in it's kind of hard to like see what's really in there without taking everything out and opening the box for the pillows, I decided to just put them in bags because I ran out of containers, but it made it easy to store because I could just stuff them in the closet. If you are new here, my name is Rosie Lynn. I am a mom to three little ones, five, three, and two. I'm also a wife. So I recently had chest surgery where I took my breast implants out because I was experiencing breast implant illness. My family, my mom, and my husband were taking such good care of me during that time. Um, I'm a, around five weeks post-op now, so I am getting back in the hang of cleaning again and just being able to get that mobile in my arms and just regaining my strength the last two months my family and I have been battling sickness after sickness it's just been so awful it's a cold that keeps on giving so I can't thank my mom and my husband enough for being such troopers during this time when I was down and out so I have to just thank them but yeah if you're new that's a little bit of where I've been what's been going on and just kind of fill you guys in in some things but we're gonna pick up my kitchen I was so behind in some of the stuff in here and it just feels so good to get back on my feet to clean and to get in the hang of everything again From all my slip -ups and mistakes. Why don't we go? 
stove I love to use Dawn dish soap and a scrub daddy for this it really does so well with getting all that build up grease off and also I'm going to be taking off the knob safety covers and the little knobbies as well over time this can just get really grimy um, with kids we have toddlers that run around and so just for their safety I keep these things on there it is a pain in the butt taking them on and off but having peace of mind because when your toddler flips that thing and you hear the gas just like going oh my gosh it gives me panic attacks so i literally have to keep these bad boys on just to have peace and clarity that no little one is going to touch it and harm themselves in the kitchen so we're just going to clean this up really well and then i'm going to clean the toppers and put them all back on this is definitely not my favorite task but i love when it is nice and clean what do you like to use on your stove? I used on dish soap. I know there's a couple other cleaners that are really good. So let me know what your favorite is below. on my sink I use a separate scrub daddy sponge for this that is separate from the sponge I use for my dishes I love to use this product because it really lifts any of those stains that happen on this sink this is an older porcelain sink and I really love this product more than the barkeepers friend when I had a stainless steel sink in our last townhome um, it worked really well but now that we have this style of a sink for some reason the pink stuff just does a lot better job than the barkeeper's friend. I really want to try this spray. I have yet to get it but I really am thrilled and so content with this product. I'm not sponsored. They don't pay me. I'm just a happy consumer that loves to use this because it works so well. So if you're on the fence about getting it or if you have a porcelain sink that has stains or you're just trying to find a new product that's really well give this a shot it's really good i absolutely love it
finishing up here in the kitchen. We're just going to be wiping down the counters. Then we're going to make our way upstairs to do some laundry and to start with the work that I have up there. There's a lot to be done and I just can't believe how much I was able to do in today's video. So I hope it motivates you guys. Let me know if you have any projects, tasks, if you've undecorated for fall already or if you're still hanging on. We normally used to do after Thanksgiving, but now that I film videos and want to motivate others, I have decided to make it earlier than normal to keep up with the fad and the trends, all the trendy trends. <laughs> so I am a lot earlier here on board, but before we used to just do it after Thanksgiving. So here I am in my realistic, messy laundry room. It's a hot mess in here, but I'm just thankful to be able to wash clothes. Two of the girls room so recently we redid my oldest daughter's room into a big girl room so now I'm going to transform my two younger daughters rooms into a different arrangement I want to move the bed closer against the wall and just pick up everything underneath and give them a transformed room as well this was so exciting and I'm so happy with the way it turned out it actually opened up the room gave them more space to play and it kind of gave my little girls their own space of just like little baby toys toddler toys and then it gave my older girl her own space with her toys and everything like that so it really worked out and I'm really thrilled with it so far and don't worry guys this was a lot lighter than expected I definitely listened to my body if it would have been too heavy I definitely wouldn't have moved it I mostly used my legs to push it so um, yeah not taking any risks here but uh, just putting that out there but can you believe how messy underneath their bed was OMG so embarrassing but that's real mom life real life here or that's real life for us anyways <laughs> so cringe but um, we're gonna pick this up vacuum I'm gonna pick up the pieces that the vacuum probably won't pick up and then I'm just gonna go over it with my vacuum and put things where they go
Next, I'm going to be cleaning, decluttering, and getting rid of some things that have piled up in our bathroom. This area was just so bad, you guys, um, from post-op medicine to getting sick to replacing toothbrushes and all the things and like... Everything was just everywhere it seemed and I'm just so happy to be having a nice cleaner space. This definitely took me a couple days to do. I finished the restroom and the shower yesterday but for today's video I only filmed <laughs> just this area right here because mom life. So before I end today's video, I wanted to share a motivational quote that I do in every video. So the quote that I found a content creator on TikTok make, I don't remember her at, but she did say something like, there aren't flowers if there's no rain. And I thought about that and I figured, wow, you know, everything we go through, you guys, are seasons, whether you're going through a hard season or a great season, it's always going to change. Seasons change. And if you're going through a hard time, you know, there's no flowers without rain. And that really resonated with me because no matter what you're going through, it's always, you know, this too shall pass. So never forget that, you guys. Everything will change. Um, every season so I hope you understand what I'm saying but I thought I would share it and thank you so much you guys for watching my videos and motivating me to keep creating really fun cleaning uplifting videos just for the fun of it you guys are so awesome and so uplifting so thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys soon in a new video bye <laughs>